welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be setting up our uh, movie quotes um, app. So starting right, right from the beginning. All right. Um, so I'm going to assume that you've already gone through the app engine unit uh, and specifically the the install test lab there. Uh, so you've already have the right software and everything on your computer, uh, and you've already registered um, with Google, right? If you haven't done those things, I'd highly suggest that you do that now because otherwise it's going to be pretty hard to follow along. All right. Uh, so, all right, first step right here is we're going to register our Movie Quotes uh, app. Uh, so you can go to appengine.google.com or what I've um, found myself going to is is their newest um, their newest site here is console.developers.google.com and that should have everything that you need. Um, so I'm going to go there now. So again, console.developers.google.com. And what this is going to do is bring up a list of your projects, right? And you see that I've already have a, a bunch of projects here. Uh, but let's go ahead and, and see what it would be like to create one. So if I click Create Project, right, then the name right here, um, again, I could, I could do something like uh, Movie Quotes. And then it, your, it's your project ID that's important. So you're going to want to put your username here uh, your, um, and then, then do uh, Movie hyphen Quotes. All right, just like that. Um, now what's gonna complain, in my case, because it's not available, right, because I already have one of that name, if I put a two here, it would work just fine, and I click Create, all right? Um, so you can go ahead and do that. Probably the only other one that you have is your install test, all right? Uh, and that's gonna create it, all right? So, so great. Um, what we're gonna do now is go over it to App Engine and let it create a new project for us, right? So let's let's go ahead and launch App Engine, and it'll probably say that you have a new version available. Uh, so, I'm, so I'm going here, and again, I've got a whole bunch of these things too. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go File, Create New Application, uh, and then the name here, I'm gonna give the same exact name, and that's important, right? So this is the one that we just registered here. Um, so uh, your username, hyphen movie, hyphen quotes, uh, as far as where you put it, uh, it's kind of up to you. Um, some people like to put them kind of all by themselves. Uh, I am actually going to keep mine in my Eclipse folder. I'm going to have to be careful about naming, as, as we'll see there in a minute. Uh, but it's, it's, it's not a huge deal. Uh, so I'm going to go here to Eclipse Workspaces, and I have a workspace for, for this quarter here. And I will go in there. And runtime is Python 2.7. That should be fine. And I'll go ahead and create that. And that's going to create some code for us, right? So I'm going to go ahead and, and look to see what it, what it made here. Uh, so I'm just navigating here in Windows, and I'm going back to that same place. So, so C, Clips Workspaces, and then this backends folder. And we see that it made us a, 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 a folder. And the project's going to have four different things in it. Uh, so let's, let's take a look at each one kind of in turn. Uh, so the first one is, is app.yaml, and this just wait for, for Notepad++ to come up here, and we'll take a peek at this guy. Uh, so app.yaml is used for configuration, right? So YAML uh, stands for yet another markup language. Uh, but basically, you, you just have to know that, that we're going to be making some small changes to this guy, right? So it's going to give us the, the name of our application. There's going to be some versioning information, and of course, you know what what uh, what runtime we're using here. Um, shouldn't have to change any of these things. Uh, we will add handlers as we go, but the main thing to note for now is that is that it's saying you know if anyone comes to this web page, then you want to direct them to, um, in main.py to the app object, right? And that's going to be the the handler, right? And it's using the web app library. Okay, um, so there we have that. Uh, what else do we have? We have a, a, a fav icon. Um, not going to touch it. We have indexes. That's auto-generated. We don't need to worry about that. Uh, Main.py is here as well, and this is sort of the vanilla, uh, you know, main.py that we've seen in the past. Um, so you know, I, I could update this guy right here, and and I could run it, right? Uh, so that's that's what's going on. In fact, let's let's go ahead and and run this guy. Uh, I can run it from the browser. Um, so that's a that's a pretty easy thing to do. Um, so if I go to Bowtell Movie Quotes and I click Run here, this guy will will give give it a minute to come up uh, in the browser. Okay, it's running. 
So I'll browse. And we'll see it brings me into localhost and it assigned me a port here and it says hello world from that, right? So again, back here, I can see that, that that's the port that it assigned, right? All right, very good. Uh, let's use this as the basis for creating a project in Eclipse, right? Because I don't want to do any editing um, in, the, in this guy. I want to use Eclipse for it. So I'm going to pull up Eclipse. Okay, so Eclipse opened up uh, and you probably have your install test right here. Uh, but let's go ahead and, and, and do this. So I'm going to make a new uh, project, right? And what I want is I want a PyDev project, uh, specifically the, the PyDev Google App Engine project. Click Next. A uh, couple different ways you can do this. Um, so if you created your, um, your code in App Engine somewhere outside of your Eclipse workspace, then you can give this a nice project name right here. And then for project contents, you're going to unclick this guy, and then you're going to, to navigate um, to the you know to to wherever you have that other stuff, right? Um, and that's fine. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is for my project name, I'm going to call mine uh, Bautel Movie Quotes, right? And then the default then is going to be to the same place. Now I understand you might not like to to name your Eclipse projects like that, uh, but that's what I'm going to do for this guy. Uh, grammar version is 2.7, that is fine. All right, now it says, let's see, so the, the interpreter um, is not specified, so let's let's go ahead and, and create an interpreter. Uh, thought I did this before, but let's go double check. So Python 2.7, and that'll browse to the location. And I'm sure you've already done this. But if we click OK, click OK. Okay, and so I'll set up my interpreter here, so Python 2.7, and I have to tell it where Google App Engine is, so let's navigate there. Uh, I can show you where it is on Windows. Um, the document has where it is on the Mac, uh, if you're working on that way. Uh, so I'm gonna go into C program files, uh, x86, into Google and Google App Engine, and click OK. And that should pop up here, and I'll just uh, click OK to what comes up. Looks great. Uh, same thing. I'm going to click Finish. All right, and that's going to connect uh, my code with, with all the libraries that are available in, in App Engine, right? So if I open it up, I have the same exact files uh, that I had before, except now I also have a .pydev project and a .project file from, from Eclipse. Okay. Um, so I've set my interpreter. Everything is, is good here. Um, so let's see again back at main.py. I'm not sure why that was giving me an error, but I just uh, basically backspaced and I could see it again and it popped up, so it seems to be fixed. All right, um, so what I want to do is I want to run this guy. A um, couple different ways of, of running it, right? So um, if you still have your, um, if you still have this guy running here, um, you know, you can make a change in Eclipse and you can run it. I actually want to show you that you can run this guy from Eclipse as well. So I'm going to go into here and I'm going to do run as PyDev Google App Run. And if I do that, um, it's actually going to assign me a, a different host. So what I will do is I will go to uh, localhost and it's actually localhost 8080 uh, is for, um, is what Eclipse always uses, right? Uh, so I can run it right from there. Uh, looks good. So, so far what we've done is sort of, you know, redone the steps in the install test lab, uh, but now we are ready um, to do some more interesting things like create the model object, right? So we'll see you back next time for that.